morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Hello, hello, hello. Wow, the laptop is still is so behind. It's not even not even live yet. <laughs> Wowie. Hope everybody's having a good day. Welcome, welcome. Happy Saturday, happy Saturday, first Saturday uh, of the year. So, ha uh ha, -huh. happy to share it with you. We got lots to go. <laughs> lots and lots to go, yes. Hello, hello, welcome. So, uh, this is a, a pattern on the fly. I saw Pat Strawhouse trying to go exclamation pattern. Oh, we're making it up, girl. We're making it up. Just as we're going along. I do have a little sample of what I was working on before to make sure the idea that I had in here came out and I think it's going to do okay. I'm making a uh, block holder for uh, someone who's, you know, working on quilting and doing a certain a certain amount of blocks and want to, I would like them to keep it nice and straight and, you know, keep it all nice and cozy. So yeah, I'm making them one of that and hopefully it works. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> May not all happen today, but it will happen. Going on, pops, boom, good lights. Okay, <laughs> we're just making it happen. Hello, Lois and Helly and Sylvia and June and Monica and Linda and Denise and Pat Remerschneider and Dawn and Tracy. How's it going, Pauline and Cheryl? Hello, 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 hello. The Siberian wind, the high from Wyoming. Welcome, welcome. Hello, 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 hello. And Smith Savage. Hello, hug. She says, hugs to you too. Thank you. That's much better, Pop. Hello, Natalie. Hello, Mona did what? How you doing? Tracy Albert. And how's Lois? We have had snow, and it is snowing right now. I actually, the camera's not turned around to the outside. Oops, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, I totally forgot about doing that. I was too focused on what I was trying to figure out here. Um, it's actually, we've had uh, a bit of snow. We got sideways snow right now. <laughs> Love sideways snow. <laughs> um, and it's a one, it feels like minus 17 or 1.4 Fahrenheit. That's what it feels like. So, no floods for you? Well, I hope not. I hope not. M hello, Lynn Bylas and Zella. How's it going? How's everybody? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Lori Clark. Mm -mm. Uh, hold on, hold on, and there goes uh, chat zoom. <laughs> Everybody's just saying hi right now, so that's why. And I appreciate it. I missed you guys. Missed you guys a lot. Hello, Tina. Uh, are you rocking those blue nails? Here? I literally just painted them, so they're not always. They're not like a ton of credit. They're looking. I think they're pretty. They make me feel pretty. It's weird how nails do that. I don't know why, but thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm trying to keep them. So you know, secure. Hello, Shelly Sows. How's it going? I put your fabric in the mail yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. I also put Joy Wilson's box in the mail yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. Fancy. <laughs> exactly, right, Asenka? <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Twitch today, Mr. Asenka. I bow to you. And plie, but I'm going to plie in the chair. <laughs> Denmark had flooding in one half of the snowstorm and the other half was in the middle of the rain and so oh, yikes no rain today I heard lots of getting rain so mm, lovely we're rocking the same color nails are we ooh girlfriends we're channeling each other uh, only difference is mine have gold leaf and glitter okay you just you just uh, up my head. <laughs> I'm just gonna paint it with the regular <laughs> hello Nadia Hello, hello, Cindy. Cook greetings from uh, crisp, rainy southwest Ohio. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Pardon, honey? Hello, Josie. Hello, outside. Oh, there we go. We have the outside cam. Da -da 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 -da. I have the outside cam. Da -da 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 -da. Hello, Sherlock Sows. Hello, Kelly's Quilts and Cruises. Hello to you all, Sylvia, June, and Pat. Remember, Shadow? Thanks to my guy, you made up a song for me. <laughs> I make up songs all the time. <clears throat> it's just who I am. I, I, I can't help it. You know, if you saw, saw the uh, um, stitch with my sister, uh, Lisa, she says, I've been making up songs since I was a kid. So, uh, have a great afternoon. You too, J uh, Josie. Hope you have a great afternoon as well. Welcome, welcome. 
Welcome in the back, coming in the house. Okay, this I'm making this up as I'm going along. I'm making a block holder bag thing in my bobbin for a friend. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. So I was trying to see if combining the stitching and the stabilizing all in one. So what I did is I took my sew-in stabilizer foundation, a fav like, um, not stabilizer, anyways, yeah, anyways. Uh, words are hard sometimes. And I drew lines on it every two and a half inches. So if you remember the bag that we did not too long ago, it's, it was purple, it had squares on it. We actually took it on our trip when we went to Ontario and held some of our camera equipment. It was a fa um, uh, interfacing, that's the other word I was looking for, sorry. Interfacing that had like a sticky side to it, web to it. So you heated your two and a half inch squares on top of it and then you sewed. I drew I, I drew it out on this one and then just placed the fabric on top, put some pins in it, and then did like a zigzag through attaching both sides of those squares all the way down the line. And then that's what, hold on, got me to here, okay? So I did it the same manner. The only thing I did instead of adhering, it wasn't adhered, is I sewed just a little bit in between the two rows to get them to stay together and then I folded on the line and then gave it a quarter inch. So, make it work for you people. Make it work for you people. Hey Jean, what's going on? If it was colder then maybe uh, all this rain would turn to snow. Wouldn't you just love that, eh? Wouldn't you just love that, eh, Lynn? Shablim. Shablim. Lorlin, I have a video short going up in an hour of my walking foot. It's doing crazy things. If you get a chance later, can you see if you can figure out what's wrong with it? Oh, okay. Uh, the only thing I can say, has it popped out and you have to re-pop it into the back? Because sometimes it, the little, the foot, like the second foot that's doing all the action, the chompy to chomp, chomp, chomp. Uh, or feeding of the the dogs. Sometimes it pops out the back, and, and I've actually had it happen, happen a couple times. If you're if you're going over bumps too big, so maybe just pop that back in if it's out, right? Maybe check that. That's the only thing I think of right now until I see the video. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, Miss Practically Creative, what's going on, oh, Southern gal? Welcome, welcome everybody. I'm glad to see her. Donna Faye, good age, just popping in for a while have birthday party to go to for my grand grandniece. She'll be one tomorrow. Oh. Are they gonna let her eat her own cake? <laughs> that was my thought. Yeah, yeah, well Miss Practically Creative and I are on the same wavelength day there. So um, I think someone wants uh, some attention. And I'm not sure if they have anything out here for you. Uh, oh yeah, maybe. Oh, are, are you gonna get snob? Are you going to be a snob to the tree? No. You promise not to be a snob to the tree? These look like puppy cheesy thingies. Hey, desperate times, desperate measures, people. <laughs> <laughs> you got to eat them. No. Actually, I don't even know what I'm saying. Lamb liver with cheddar cheese. See? Not bad. You got your protein. You got your carbs. You got your cheese. <laughs> That's right. We're all team cheese here. Hello, Slay Arts. How are you? I'm so happy to see you. I haven't been able to catch up on anybody for a while. Hello, Night Owl. Welcome, welcome. I've been busy, busy. And Miss Valerie, how's Miss Valerie? Miss Gwenny has a house full of people. And Miss Allison is babysitting one of the little ones while her uh, daughter and son-in-law do some renos. So hopefully they're having a good day and we wish them a good day. And a happy birthday to Dawn Faye's little one. Awesome, awesome. Yes. Oh, Jackie. Okay, so what I have going on here, so I took I took the measurement of the width of what I have for my stabilizer here, and I drew those two and a half inch. Actually, it works perfectly right across. So we end up with eight, okay? So I went eight deep to make a square-ish, I was hoping for, right? That's That was the plan. So, and on those lines, I kept on the back side of where I pin. Actually, kind of transferred to both sides just because it made it visually easier to, for pinning on the front and sewing on the back, right? So, um, so that's what I did for that. So I just cut off a chunk of what I needed and uh, made it there. So what I I had a little piece left over 
that wasn't being squared up right. So I have that little chunk right here and you can see I've got two little bits of the fabric there and you can see how I did it. Maybe over, oh, hold on. I gotta move this closer. Okay, okay thank you, Peter. You can see how I did that little zigzag to keep them there, right? Okay. And then I just did a base stitch down the, the one solid edge there. And then when we, I'm not, I won't do it this way because it, this piece is so short, but if I was, if it was like this big one here, I would have. Or what you can do is just do a straight stitch, a base stitch down each side, just go zoop, zoop. But I did a zigzag this time around, hoping to catch more of the edge because I noticed when I put this one together, kind of a little, oh, it's a little, oh, it's got a little bit of a waist here. Um, it, I had to, I was, I missed a little bit of, and it was a little furry. So I was like, oh, let's come back and do a thicker seam allowance. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what happens. Okay. So when I fold this, okay, so I'll do the long way first, and then I'll sew along here, put it, having that seam there pinched straight in the middle and then I'm going to come down and do a quarter inch seam allowance so that when I flip this out and over it is beautiful and then you're going to come back and do each one of these wham bam bam and then it's gonna look just like that uh oh you just reminded me happy birthday Helly. this is tomorrow for miss Helly. hello craft a simple life on twitch thank you very much for joining us today <laughs> thank you thank you thank you yes miss Helly's birthday's tomorrow everybody are you ready? <coughs> and a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Miss Helly. Happy birthday to you and many more. Now the question is, how many times have I sung you happy birthday? <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of times. And I'm happy for every single one. And thank you so much for hanging out with us and sharing your birthday with us. And hopefully you, uh, your family's got something good going on. Thank you, Cheryl. Appreciate that. I would have been I'm trying to remind myself all day and then, because I knew I wanted to, and then it would be like the end of stream and I'd be like, oh, I forgot to sing her happy birthday. You know, and I would have been so mad. I would have, I would have had my angry ass. We don't want that. We don't want my angry ass. Mm -mm, hello, Nate. What's going on? Yes, everybody, fill the chat with love for Miss Helly, one of our lovely monitors, uh, monitors, moderators. <laughs> moderators. <laughs> she displays uh, for us. Me. She's the hall monitor. <laughs> she is the hall monitor. <laughs> we love her so much. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, just got my straight stitch here. I'm going to turn it back down to a regular stitch. I had it up on a baste. So that was about 2.4, 2.5. Uh, when people do a normal base stitch, what do you have? What do you, I, I, know, I heard a lot of people when I've been watching it was a 2.2 is their base. So, I'm sorry, honey? Nothing. Me just pushing all the buttons. Oh, all righty. <laughs> I forget which one does which. <laughs> You're giving me a hard time. <laughs> all I pushed right. left the buttons today. <laughs> All right, so just to review what we've done over here, I've, I had markings left on this. You can see like the little bit of the lines here that's on the other side to line up my squares. That was two and a half inches each. And then I put fabrics together on the foundation and then I did a zigzag in between to keep them together. Okay, because I don't, this isn't adhered. This is all iron on stuff. I'm sorry, sew on stuff, not iron on. Okay, so I still want to be able to use it. And I just have to put in just a little bit more work, but it's going to be worth it in the end because I'm sewing the fabric to get uh, the squares together, but I'm also stabilizing the whole project as well. And then I've taken that and I folded it over so that little seam that's with the zigzag is right in between. And then I'm going to come along with a quarter inch. Just come on, chuck it on right all down. So I'll do the longest first and then come back and do the short ones. Hope you had a good New Year's. I, I did make it to midnight. I was so proud of myself. And then I was like up at my normal time in the morning and I was pretty much a zombie the rest of the day. <laughs> I didn't have much energy or anything for anything. So, but that's okay. Had, had, had a good time with the boys. Regular stitch 2.5, base 3, 3.5 or 4. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we have that there. See how that's all nice and pretty? 
Now we're going to take this and we're going to fold it so those seams are right together. If we can see that, okay. And then we're going to sew on down a quarter inch. Uh oh, I unthreaded my needle. Oops. Oopsies. Un momento. I was so tired. Good afternoon, Ella Allen Chatter, she says. Welcome, welcome. Um, how's, how's Valerie today? How's Edmonton? How, how's our peoples across the world? What's, what you got going on there? Anything exciting? No, like I said, hopefully Miss Helly's family's taking her out and treating her good. Mm, soft flower kit. As you guys are talking about quilt kits, so I'll have to read the chat later. I'm talking about some good deals on stuff. You love that blue? What is it? It literally, actually, Pop picked it out, didn't you? Yeah, Pop picked out that blue because when we were at the uh, the Atlantic Superstore, uh, grabbing a few things before was it before Christmas? Uh, grabbing a few things before was it before Christmas or before? Yeah, it was it was before Christmas. Uh, we picked up a top coat, which is just like a clear because I'm I'm trying to toughen my nails since uh, I've had a, a you know autoimmune disease. It, it kind of ruins your body in a few ways, and I have I have some multivitamins I'm taking too. Uh, by the suggestion of Allison and uh, my niece, um, Victoria, because she's got an um, autoimmune deficiency. Um, so, yes. There we go. Look at it. Look how pretty that is. It's bang on, baby. Come on. You can't mess that up. Well, you could, but, you know, it's hard to mess that up. <laughs> All right. Now we're just going to fold on the line. And then we're gonna make sure because this one's short. I'm, I'm not. I know I'm not gonna use all of this one. I that's for the stabilizer. I just want to use a big chunk of it because it's actually gonna be attached to a piece of clear plastic. Okay, so that's why it's a, it's a short nubby nubby piece, and that's okay. Mm -mm, morning, Gladys. Hello, everyone. She says morning, Gladys. Well, it's afternoon here, so I'll say afternoon, Gladys. <laughs> her quilt's on the long arm. She won Pop's Challenge quilt. We've got the backing all pinned nice and in or pinned on and ready to go. Uh, the only other thing, a question I wanted to ask you now that you're in chat, what color thread? I, I haven't even started stitching yet. I mean, I was going to send you a picture of thread colors, but if you could give me an idea there, Gladys, that would be awesome. She said butterfly, so I'm like, ooh, butterfly. But I'm like, ooh, we could do it a few colors because it would be complimentary to the beautiful backs. So, but I'm like, what's your color? What's your color? What's going to be? Gladys's color. What you going to pick? What does everybody think her color is going to be for thread? Mm -mm -mm, the mystery. Let the drum roll. Or the thunder, whatever. Uh, doing okay, got a skip of snow, but still very little snow. Temperature is supposed to plummet this week, minus 15, as a high. Ugh. So it'll be, uh, uh, yeah, adjustment, definitely. We had uh, minus 21 last night. So. Mm -mm. Hey, Jennifer Wells, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Whatever you think works best. Okay. All right. Okay. Just trying to wiggle, wiggle the last little one there. All right. Does that look nice? Look how lined up those corners are. It's come to the inches. It's pretty. I like it. E -e -e. Okay, so what I want to do, because I have been adding my little, my favorite little heartbeat stitch uh, in between down the stitches on the top here. So that's just top stitching the interfacing. So we're going to do that. Okay. Oh, oh, uh oh. Whoa, whoa. See, we got some boo boo. We missed that. Okay, so we're going to do to catch that, even though we probably won't. I don't know. Will we use it? 
No, we won't use it because it's too too low there. It be, it's not in the interfacing part, so it's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, unless it's down low. No, it's okay. It'll be hidden. We won't worry. Okay. Uh, all right, let's uh, iron and then we'll do some top stitching. Okay. Do, do, do. Mm, thank you very much, June. Oh, what's this? I made sure I'm home on Monday and and I warned the postman that there will be coming a lot of parcels for me. <laughs> I wish I would have thought about it sooner. I'm sorry. I've been just like in a haze. Uh, creative freedom for mom. Well, exactly, right? And uh, have some fun with it, right? And use the stabilizers. Uh, I think uh, Java Jovi or Jovi had a question about what kind of stabilizers to use um, and for applique. Now, I like heat and bond for the applique. For one, you can trace out the paper, you can get it right, you can flip and you flop it, uh, you can do multiples uh, as well as it has, adheres on both sides. And then you have the opportunity to give it a uh, like a blanket stitch, a zigzag, a satin, or, you know, whatever, all the way around, right? So that would be my choice. Hey, just crafting around. How's it going? How's Australia today? Welcome, welcome. Oh, Tina, I'm trying to use a house, hold on. I'm trying to use a house ruler for a table runner. House ruler for two. But I don't know how to use one. Can anyone tell me where to watch or tell me how to, what do you mean a house ruler? Like, like a, a, a yard stick? Hmm. Yeah, Pop did trim his beard. Oh, did you pop on there? Yeah. Uh, is Miss Nadine in the house? She might be busy with family, but uh, she, she gifted uh, Pop, and Munch, Pop and Munchkin some really cool uh, beanies. Uh, tooks, tooks. Oh, Jill O'Dell, I mailed out your package yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. Yes, I did. January's often the coldest. Uh, I think we had February. Uh, Jan well, January into February last year. Hello, Ian, the off, off sorry, off kilter crafter Ian. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> How you doing there, bud? I was going back through some of your videos, and let me tell you, you made me literally laugh out loud on your YouTube 5,000 subscriber button. I, I was, I was like, did he get one? And we missed ours? So I go and I'm reading and I look, and boy, you had me. You had me almost made to the very end. <laughs> I was so happy. I'm like, oh, it's so awesome we got one. But I'm like, well, where was ours? Did he get lost in the mail? Like, well, that would have been cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, no problem. Uh, the, and there's many ones that you can use. Uh, if if in, you only have what you have, is like, say, you only have iron-on, like I have right here. Okay, this is a medium weight iron on. It's, it's, it, you can, I don't know if you can see, but it, you know, if I crinkle it, it will, it will crinkle, but it also has a bit of stability to it. Like the, this, right? You want to kind of put it on the sides of totes and stuff like that. So if you only have this to, to have, I would take your fabric, do base stitches through it, like it, you, to stabilize the two together as a one unit and then cut your pieces out of that and then applique that down in those many different ways of the blanket stitch, satin stitch, zigzag stitch, or any other fancy stitches. Like, I like the heartbeat stitch, right? But uh, yeah, so but that's, that's just me. Mm -hmm. I posted uh, my Valentine's quilt top on your, oh, fantastic, fantastic. Oh, cool, them Stephanie stitches, what's going on? Oh, Jackie, mm, wow, who's that handsome girl? I know, right, Pat Ada? I feel like I'm robbing the crayon. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it is. So I was like, wait a second. Where, where's my button? I want my button. <laughs> there should be a bronze button. There should be. There should. I totally agree. There should be a bronze because that's an achievement, even just to get to five thousand. Let me tell you, that's like a hop, skipping a jump in like a journey and a half. So. Yes, happy Saturday. Okay, so uh, any other questions I could answer on stabilizers? Because I am, like I said, I'm using medium weight for this. I've drawn, I will take another chunk here. Once I put my little bits and bobs away. Okay, now that I've done my, oh, I wanted to 
the fancy stitch. Sorry, that's what I was going to go do. And then we'll build out another one, okay? I hope you're having a happy Saturday. Uh, too sick to sew? Oh, sending good vibes to Lena. I'm sorry, my dear. Uh, Alright, go mode uh, 071. Should be my button, yes. Which is quite convenient because it's actually the year of my birth, so it's really weird. I enjoy Ian as well. He is entertaining and amazing and he makes me laugh and he makes me think a different perspective on things as well. And that's what you like from content creators. So, same with Stephanie. I love Stephanie as well and Shannon from Slay Arts and I love all the peeps. Just gonna, hold on. You guys are all chat without me. <laughs> I'll work. You chat. So a question for Sylvia, now that we're on this part, if she's in and paying attention, if not, maybe she can read back. So is these little feety feet here, these ones here, are they loose and up? Like they're like skiing with their toes in the air sort of thing? If so, I'm, it's gonna be that little like pop out latch. It's like a little hook. Just hop that hook back in at the back if that's what that's, if your walking foot's having that sort of issue. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm going to try, if it happens here to mine, like it has a couple times because of the thickness I went over, I'll leave it and I'll show you and see if that's what it looks like, All right? It, you can still sew, but it's just a little wonkier. It's just a little wonkier, okay? So now we're going to do the fancy little stitch just down, just continue here because we want to use this piece as part of the bottom of the bag on the front where we're going to put a piece of plastic. Okay, so people can, they can see what's a little bit in there but not fully exposed. So what if it's just a ruler or a tablet or something, right? The main part of where the blocks are going to sit are going to be on the inside. grocery bags right now very nice Deborah awesome 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 we did quite a few actually we even crocheted we cut the bags down and crocheted uh, mats for like to go into cat beds and stuff like that so for the shelter make a little carpet too I lost my brother-in-law from a massive heart attack last Saturday then got sick uh, last oh jeepers creepers Lena She's having a hard time. I'm sorry. We're, I'm sending you some good vibes. Give you a little, give you a little hearts in chat for Lena. Hit that little heart button. Anybody else needs a little love? Hello, Monty. How you doing? Uh, that colorway is so my jam. Uh, this is a mix and a match. Some people may recognize that have been a member of our channel for a very long time. I made a quilt. 2017 with some of these fabrics here a lot of this and this I've added a few of my own into here and what I have but I'm using it up so this is from leftover bits from 2017 so and I, I'm working it I'm working it man and I think it would be the person I'm making it for I think it's kind of there I would think it would be their jam too at least I'm hoping so it's, it's on the softer tone of colors. Uh, I find them calming and remind me a bit of like um, uh, Civil War fabrics of the red and the whites and the creams and the, but I don't know. When I, hold on, when I switched it to my normal foot, it was fine, just the walking foot was jumping. I'd have to, uh, I don't know. Uh, thanks, everybody. Sending that love out. Appreciate it. Hello, Miss Allison. I just said it not too long ago that you were, you were busy with family today. You were watching a little one while some other, your, your uh, daughter and your her husband were doing some red nose. Hopefully that's going okay or goes okay. Thank you, Shelly. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you, April. Yeah. 
Okay, so now back to here. Thank you. Um, and because it's not a full on of the two rows, I, I will end up trimming this up. But we're going to attach this to a piece of plastic. But I kind of want to enclose another, like just a strip of color on the inside to go, because I don't want to just this, this, this here. I guess it could, because there's no raw edges either. So that kind of works in your favor. But. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Civil War repo. Okay, thanks, you, Jeanette. Yeah, I don't remember the quilt name that we did with it, like, or, or who won it, but it was one of my more smaller, intricate uh, quilt projects that we did for the members. And uh, yeah, someone, someone of them, they won it, and yeah, it was, it was very beautiful in the end. So, oh, you're welcome, there, Lena. You're welcome. All right. Cheers, everybody, to a better year <laughs> than last year. Hey, Connie Joe from Snowy Kansas. Well, hello from uh, Snowy Nova Scotia. I, actually, I think it's actually stopped for now. We thought we were in for a bit. It's actually, there, there we go. We can't even see the pond. <laughs> Trust me, it's frozen over. Want to go skating? <laughs> yes, cheers, cheers, cheers. Yeah, sorry for your loss. Uh, all right, so let's, 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 let's. I had a strip that I was going to do on the other side. This was going to be on the other side of the plastic. So this was my thought, okay? Let's go back over to, can we go overhead or are you busy? I can fiddle and battle if you're busy with things. Okay, all right, uh, overhead. So this, this was my plan. This was going to be the outside of the one, one side of the bag, okay? So this piece right here, right here, I'm going to put another fabric on the inside, I think. I, I feel like I feel more comfortable having another fabric on the inside, but I don't know. Um, I'm going to put it at the bottom here-ish, and then I'm going to take this extra little bit of plastic. I'm trying not to waste anything this year either, and I'm trying to use up what I have. So I'm going to take this bit of plastic, and I'm going to sew it here, okay? going to go like that and then we're going to top that off with the little binding here and then that's just going to be a little kind of like peekaboo pocket it has just a little bit of peeking you know yeah i know it hasn't tracy i'm i know pop and we were talking about that yesterday actually oh you want to build a snowman oh <laughs> you want to build a snowman hello sandra welcome good morning from texas hello mary what part mr speedworks mm, what's up buddy he shared with me his hippo that he's had for as a kid, and I was so touched by that. So thanks. I really got me all in the feels. Okay, so for this, we will just do like on the back side stitch, and then flip to the front, so we just have a nice top stitch on the front. We're not seeing the anything from the back side, and then like I said, that's going to be like a peekaboo front pocket. So this is probably going to be this week and next week. I don't think I'm going to get this done this week. Uh, as much as I anticipated I, I would, but uh, I don't think so. Um, so we're going to we're gonna finish this part and it's kind of, we'll, we'll have to square it up. We'll square them all up when we get the other piece done, but we, we can finish this. Okay, so let's trim this up so it's nice and even with the stabilizer here. Because I said I didn't want to waste anything. If I didn't have to, I don't want to. Hello, Rochelle with three L's. How are you doing? Thank you very much. Just crafting around. It was uh, my ode to myself. I wasn't buying an ugly Christmas sweater. I was going to buy myself a nice Christmas. Well, winter sweater, really. So I oh, don't want to say really Christmas because it's kind of hard on it. I can wear the sucker all the way to Valentine's Day. <laughs> it snows here till all the way to then. All right, so I'm just going to kind of square this up a little bit. Give it some nice, flat, clean edges on both sides. See what I can actually milk out of this, stabilizer-wise. Looks it's like it's about one, two, three, and three quarters. So I can work with that. Okay. And then, I think what we should do, because we want to, do we want to put, why is that a little bit wider than that? Things that make you go, hmm, hmm, hmm. I, I shouldn't be because it should have been this and this, and I used the extra over bit from this, so I don't know what I've done. <laughs> but that's okay. You're missing one. Yeah. We're going to square it up anyways. It doesn't have to be this big. 
Mm -mm. I'm glad uh, I'm not the only one that says Rochelle with three L's. I learned it from you, actually, Ian. I if that I figure if that's the way she she wants it said in she must have said something in your chat. Then great. Hey, Ken's World of Crafting. Hi, buddy. What's going on? Welcome here. So I learned it by watching you. <laughs> Well, and it is. Hey, if, if that's how you want to be known, so I'm happy to say that. You know, you just got to tell me. Because some people have some like long name, and then they just call me Fred, and I'm like, oh, okay. But it's the, there's not even a Fred in the name, so it's very confusing. <laughs> Hello, Charlotte. How you doing? <laughs> Love sandcastles. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so what I'm gonna do for this part first? Part, not fart. Honest to goodness. We'll iron that, and then we'll sew that on the one side of the plastic, and then we will uh, figure out our inside fabric, which I thought I had something with me. Did I do with it? Did I tuck it? Did I tuck it? Did I tuck it? Tuck oh, I did too. There we go. There's this piece right here. Hoping, to, oh yeah, definitely. I thought that was pretty, right? Get the little, and then she'll see that a little bit on the inside. You have nine squares on one and eight on the other. Oh, really? Do mm -hmm. I? Oh, I thought it was eight by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Oh. That's okay. No, that means I needed to lay it this way. That's all. That's all. <laughs> I just laid it on the wrong side. I knew I had it right at one point in time of starting this today. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere, like, I was on the right track. <laughs> By golly, just don't press your plastic. No, 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 no. <laughs> if you need to, then put it between layers of fabric first, so. Ah, uh, thank you very much, I appreciate that. I don't normally paint them, I have to say, it's only be because of my Crohn's disease if I had to, so it's interesting, but uh, yeah. But I also got clear too, but I want to spiff it up. I've had clear for a couple, a couple weeks, so yeah, they're pretty. It makes me feel special. And Pop says, oh, am I ever special. <laughs> Guess who, Nancy? Uh, hi, y'all. Uh, time got away. Hello. Isn't it your birthday today? Am I, am I, am I to understand that correctly? Is it, is it, is it her birthday? Thank you so much, Suzanne. <laughs> I did some time I had it right. <laughs> okay. So what we want to do here is so this and this there, and I'll and I'll show you why. Oh, where's the clips? Oh, ooh, one second. Oh, I knew I should have found something earlier today. The clips were one of them. Sugar clubs. What did I do with my clips? the right sides together with the plastic in between okay so I'm just gonna clip so you can see what my goal is here okay of why I'm doing it this way okay so that is the right sides facing so when I do a little a top stitch or a stitch right across here if I fold that that way and put the plastic up this way folding this down that means these two are going to be the wrong sides together which is exactly what we're looking for because we want this to be the outside of the pocket and this to be to the inside of the pocket okay sure. I sure can okay. yes clips yes clips clips definitely um, which means I'm gonna to have to take a moment to find them I, I think they're in my tray I think I don't okay anyways So we have 
the bottom part of this fabric that I'm trying to make a little, I'm gonna add a pocket here. This is where I prefer to have a pocket. So when you put your hands in the pocket, you wanna make sure you have nice fabric on both sides. So I'm trying to put this as that inside fabric and then that as my outside fabric, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna put my outside here, face up, looking at me. Then I'm gonna add my plastic. Thank you. Yeah, just a few. I know I had them and then I, I think I dumped them by accident. And then I'm gonna lay the fabric with the right sides facing in between the plastic, okay? So scoot that over a little bit because we'll make sure we have enough. We don't want to be stingy, but we don't want to waste either, right? And then we're going to take these and we're going to clip. Oh, thank you, dear. Any more? No, I think we should be okay by this. By this. It's good because I couldn't see any more. Yeah, I don't know what to do with my little bucket. So maybe on the lower rack, the lower, move the Kleenex box and stuff. I don't know. I have no idea what to do with them. We need clean. I know, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm not nagging, I'm just saying. Okay. Pin it all the way, or clipping all the way to here, okay? And then that way, when we put a stitch right across here, this folds this way, the plastic comes up, okay? This will obviously fold the other way, okay? And then you have that nice fabric facing out on the inside of the pocket, as well as your lovely stitched on the other side of the pocket. Oh, That's oh my, lot. thank goodness, wow, oh my goodness, thank you, thank you, thank you, appreciate you so much, big hugs. How much is that one? That was like 500,000. It said, it's fi it says 500, or 5 on mine, so. Yeah, it says what oh, it is, but if okay. you look at the Oh, yeah, I see it. <laughs> if you look at the alert, it was like 500,000. Thank you for donating your life savings. <laughs> we appreciate it. <laughs> Hey, balloonist, how you doing? Okay, so, and then that's, and then we're gonna put this in down on here, okay? And then we're gonna add this part to the top of our pocket. So we have that little clear bit of peekaboo, okay? It's a little clear bit of peekaboo news, okay? Pop is a hipster with his toque, I know, right? I know. Okay, all right, so let's squish these back to where they need to be. And we were just making sure that plastic is pinched in between. And I don't do any more of a closer stitch with the plastic. I just, with the plastic in there, I'm just going to do a regular, just a regular stitch of my own. Okay, the question is now, after I did all this, did I want the half stitchy bits in the bottom? <laughs> what? <laughs> thank you thank you for my retirement fund I appreciate you thank you thank you <laughs> that's, sorry <laughs> no, what, what can I say? <laughs> that's you buddy thank you so, he'll go off in history as being the biggest shipper <laughs> ever yeah he's the biggest shipper five million, million dollars uh, that was a lot of zeros. <laughs> I think we'll take all his families. No, I'm, I'm so kidding. Million. That was hilarious. Okay. <laughs> go to the sewing machine. Oh, no, this is this way. There we go. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Ian. Appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, for all those YouTubers who are now rich. <laughs> So keep those clips and we're going to need them, okay? I saw you paint a little. I know, right? So, Terry, <laughs> you can almost just imagine it in his eyes going, ah! Oops. Oops, hold on. Wrong stitch. Uh, hold on. Mode. Yes, here on one. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that's not what I want. Okay, there we go. Cut. <laughs> I think I was thinking I might do some trim. Okay, we're alright. We're alright. We're alright. Okay. Little back stitch. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, poor Ian. <laughs> <laughs> His heart palpitations right now. I can feel them all the way from here. <laughs> You're back home now, aren't you? Oh, you got a live soon, don't you? Uh, three. Is that three Eastern? Or three. What? No. Oh. I, I think. Uh, yeah, he's got a live stream soon. No, he does. Ian does. Yeah. Let's see if I got it right this time. There we go. There. Woo, woo. <laughs> Bulldozers are coming to more, removing your home and building a new one for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my goodness. Poor dude. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to kind of give that a press when you're like, hey, how are you going to do that, Laura Lynn? You're going to finger press it. <laughs> you're going to finger press it really, really good. And then you're going to do a top stitch, okay? So back over. Okay, thank you. Okay. I'm just going to kind of do a little tug of Maronis, okay? And then we're going to flip this back. And we're just going to roll the seam with our fingers. And then you can add a nice to decorative top stitch on here <clears throat> if you like. This is a great time to play with those fun stitches on your machine. If you don't, because let me tell you, decorating to, to like dedicating to go like around a panel or doing a binding on a quilt, you've committed big time for that, big time. But on something just small like this, if it takes you like two minutes to get through it because it does this whole you know ching ching boom 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 ching ching boom boom ching ching you know sort of thing. Uh, you know, then then it's okay. You know, you're, you're you're expecting it, right? Okay. All right. So, and in the fabric part, I'm just gonna put a couple of pins to make sure I'm staying straight and squarish. Did he, uh, did he confirm? Yep, yeah, uh, I'm home going to two Eastern, one Central. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so soonish, an hour and a bit -ish. We can follow over to him when we're done. Yeah, uh, do you mind if we follow over to you when we're done? See if I can do it. Uh, we, can, we can take our homies with us. We can take our homies with us if they want to come with us. I was about to ask him for me. <laughs> you, I, would, I, I don't know if it's possible. <laughs> they, they have their own little setup things, right? Okay, so now we're just going to put a little uh, top stitch right across here. I'm not going to use the um, heartbeat stitch. I'm just going to use the straight stitch. All right. I'm listening, going to early and walk on the... Oh, Lebo. Okay, no worries, sir. Have a good one. Have a good one. A good, nice little putter about. And thank you for hanging out. Appreciate that, Miss Alice. Good fix to you. Alright, now cheers, everybody. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Hopefully, this, this new year is a fantastic one for you. Now, I really want to make sure this is a relatively close enough to a straight line. You know, I do want to, you know, if I'm given a gift, I want to give it my very best. If I'm just making something for me, it's more like, oh, I'm just trying this out. I'll figure it out if it works. But I'm trying to make this as a gift. Okay. There we go. Now we will take our... binding here, like a little strip of binding, just two and a half inches thick. I'm going to sew on the back first and then flip to the front. That way on the front has just that one stitch line, okay? Oh, and you can actually, we'll flip this over on the other side because the plastic is giving me a little bit of resistance. 
and we don't want that. So we want to sew with the fabric side down. Okay. I'm just try and line her up here. Put a couple of clips in to keep me uh, on the straight. Oops, make sure I have enough to get me to the other end. Okay. Do -do. I only lock down when I'm landing. I only look, look down. Oh, when I'm landing. <laughs> I'll look down when I'm landing. <laughs> yeah, keep your uh, eyes on the uh, post for the uh, member meeting this week on Wednesday. Okay, it's going to be an extra long one. Come hang out. So those are the for the paid members uh, that help our channel out in any way, whether it's on the Guild website or here, right here on YouTube or on Twitch or on Kick. If you're a supporter of our channel, you can come and hang out with on us, with a, on us. <laughs> well, it, we, we did pay for it. Right? <laughs> yeah, with us is what I meant to say. Okay. Okay, and then just a straight stitch. Sorry, honey. Not sure how we're gonna get the Twitch people. Oh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, LL, we got great news. Hubby's scans came back. No cancer. Best birthday present. All uh, praises to the guy. Yeah, exactly right. So it was your birthday. It was your birthday. Do you want me to sing happy birthday to you? Hello, Nita. Hello, welcome, welcome. Oh, Kathleen's in the house. Very nice. Hey, Kathleen, didn't you win something from our uh, giveaway? I just don't remember seeing your email. I think, we, I think we heard from everybody else, but I don't think we... I thought you won something, but I, I don't remember seeing your email. Yeah, that's awesome. That's fantastic news. Uh, we had Mexican food yesterday, but not as great as New Mexico's food. Oh, it's been a long time. Did he say it was okay we come over afterwards? Yeah? Okay. Sorry? I said it up. Oh, nice. Excellent. <laughs> it's the party in the house. Yeah, because I was going to uh, scoot into the house and watch them. So, figure out what we were having for dinner tonight. What's everybody else having for dinner tonight? Okay, now here comes more of the finger pressing. Okay, because you really don't want to be melting your plastic, right? So you just want to fold that over. You're going to put that little fold-up seam of your fabric up on itself there. And then fold the roll hem down there. Give yourself a little clip. And blip. There we go. Clip and blip. I'm going to pop that in all the way along. And then we'll put a nice little top stitch. And that has the pretty one uh, one stitch out here and then with our bottom fabric right there. And that's our little peekaboo pocket. She won the tree. She won the tree. Okay. Then But I don't I don't see her information here, so Okay, then it was somebody else, um then it was um, Her information is not here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta fix that. <laughs> Cause that's I'm like going through trying to deal with it all, and I'm like, I'm loading. I've already mailed off um, Shelly's and Jill's, and Gladys is on the machine to get stitched up, uh, like ready to go. Uh, it looks really cute. Uh, and I was just waiting for threads, and she, uh, I was going to ask her for threads, but she just answered, I could pick any color I want, so. All right, so now I'm just going to come straight down stitch, and then we've got it looking nice on the back side that we're going to have a little stitch through the plastic. Okay. But that's okay. And again, you can use one of your decorative stitches. Nah, I'm not sure. Maybe it might perforate the plastic too much. Nibbles all afternoon at my dad's birthday party. Nice. Oh, yes, that's right. Oh, yes, the Sudoku quilt. 
have you given it away yet? I know you hid it in the closet because they were over for dinner. <laughs> You're so funny. He literally made me laugh. I'm like, she's so cute. <laughs> oh, you're so cute, Kel. Okay. Da, 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 da. All right, there we go. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I told you my top cutter goes going. All right, let's go back over here. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -ba -da, ba -da. All right, so now this, once we square all the bits up, is going to go here. Just like that. And that's good. Well, we're trying to, we're trying to not line it up, so maybe this seems these seams here are a little bit more on point instead of cattywampus so but we'll do, we'll do the best we can okay how's that do that or maybe you try the other side maybe that'll be better looking we got two sides you know we can make it we'll make it work we make it, i like that one better i like a lot one better yeah there see Okay, so now let's put this one off to the side and let's build out our other one just like this, okay? Super easy. Pop that there. Let's do the... I think I found her. You think you found her? Yeah. Uh-oh, okay. Well, she then. was... Overwrote a previous entry she's won. Oh, okay. Weird. Okay. I'm just taking, I have other strips here too, if I need more squares. I didn't think I did, but well, just in case. Okay, put all that over there. We're going to need a pencil and our longest ruler. Okay, put our little felt mat over here. Got our stabilizer here. This is medium stabilizer. I don't want to waste anything, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over. Actually, I should flip this around because it's much easier. Okay. Uh, he did find you, Kathleen. He just said that, he, but you were somehow hiding. So, but it's only because I am complaining <laughs> that I didn't see you. Because <laughs> I want to get you. And hopefully, you answered the questions of what you wanted done with it. Hey, Roxanne. Hey, JK, Joyce, how are you? Hey, Laura Lynn, popping everyone. Welcome, welcome. Happy everybody's here. I was just saying a minute ago uh, and headed over with my, oh, something to culture. I didn't see that. Being patient about all I can right now. I'm working as I can. Yeah, you got to keep chugging on. Actually, I heard a saying today from a Irish streamer that I was watching on Twitch this morning. She was uh, making, felting uh, a frog. Uh, a rain frog and he looked like a little chubby potato but it was really cute I, I don't know I've never done felting before so I was you know in, very interested in what she was working on and it's not win or lose it's win and learn because you never lose at anything you just learn from it right so there's no loss there right there's no losing there's not and you're not making yourself feel bad about something because it really shouldn't be there's no, nothing to feel bad about in that sort of situation, right? So it's just a win and learn, not a win and lose. You know, win or lose, sorry. So, oh, Ian's got to go. Okay, later, Tater. Have fun. We'll come raise you later, Key. <laughs> Be like, stopping through the quilt shop. <clears throat> Heading over to Ian's. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm going to mark over here. Uh, can we go? So I'm, I'm, hold on, let's scoot this. There you go, so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm gonna use my ruler to help me. Okay. I don't wanna cut it off the roll unless it's exactly what I need, right? Because I don't wanna waste. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna measure two and a half. I'm sorry? Use the pointy Yeah. Okay. Live and learn. Right, exactly. Yeah. Now win and lose. I'm curious how the zipper is going in. I'm going to try and um, once the, like, I got, I got to build out a bit of a bottom, right? So I'm going to try and st stitch it up this way and then across and then this way and across and then have the two pulls in between to be able to pull in each direction. That's my plan. 
okay? Like I said, this this ain't gonna all happen today, so, but it will be done next weekend, okay? It'll be a learning process for us all. It'll be my first time putting two pulleys on a zipper, so I'm excited to learn that. And I'll make just a pocket for the other side. I won't make a peekaboo pocket. So unless I have another chunk of plastic that I've missed and, and then I could always use it up for that. So, but there is going to be some on the inside, right? So, so this, I had nine, nine by eight, right? So I think one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. I'm sure it was nine this way because eight is limited to the one direction. So, not the band. Okay. Now I want to cut. I want to cut, cut, cut. I'm going to give it like a quarter inch though. Okay. There we go. Now we can move this big thing out of the way. And now we're going to take this and we're going to do the same in the other direction, marking off the two and a halves. Okay. And you're going to do this on both sides. It's very simple. And it only takes a little bit of time to do this and it's going to make your corners nice and precise on your little tote or anything else you're making. Table runner, paw holders, mug rug. so many different things you could do okay and then that one's kind of equals out to be that approximately okay so now what we do is we take all of our squares and we lay out a design okay and we pop some pins in I was only doing two rows at a time okay so I just kind of laid out some some are new colors to the side of the bag and some are uh, repeated from the other side just gonna oops lay out a couple like I said two rows So what was everybody having for dinner tonight? So I can give me some ideas. Because I don't, I don't know what to write. I mean, we just have leftovers. Papa's leaving, so he's got to go away. So we might as well clean up some leftovers, I guess. Or have something out of a can. <laughs> or popped in the toaster oven. Okay, now we take those and we move them over here. And we take our pins and we just kind of line it up. Oh, actually, I want to do this on the other side. Because I want to see those lines. Okay. Mix and match now. It was nice. Now we're going to do it our way. <laughs> Another way. And if you put the pin in the center, then you can do that base stitch or that zigzag stitch in between the rows without having to take your pins out. We want to kind of butt those fabrics right edge to edge. Okay. Yeah, it's a very pretty fabric. That's why I thought, you know what? I think she would like this. So, and it's been sitting here for, ooh, I don't know what, seven years now. So, let's, uh, let's, let's make some use out of it and make her a nice bag. 
And it just goes to show you, I keep everything. <laughs> I keep it all! It's mine, I tell you, mine! Hello, Irish. How's Linda today? How's it going? Ooh, chicken noodle soup. I love chicken noodle soup. That is usually my go-to if I'm not feeling so great. And usually I chop up extra chicken and toss it in there so I get a little bit more of a protein. Uh, hubby's laughing at me because I have one slipper on and one off can't push pedal with the slipper <laughs> I was like that for the longest time. I used to sew barefoot and I could only sew barefoot. And then, but we, all my sewing rooms beforehand had carpet. And then when we moved into the house in Hillsburg, it was hardwood floor. So I was like, okay, so I wore slippers or moccasins, which I guess is just a slipper as well. So, um, so I would wear those, and uh, so that felt I could feel the pedal for sure. But uh, yeah, I just get used to it, especially out here. I've I've sewn with boots on, so because <laughs> it's been so cold out here. <laughs> I don't want those two together. Uh, let's do this like this. You could do this in many different color ways. I mean, whatever makes you happy. And it's definitely using up stash I've had for a, a, a long time. And mixing it up with other stuff I had here. So Somebody else's little leftover bits and bobs. Okay, so there we go. And we're just gonna do a little zigzag all the way between, okay? Okay, for a second. Cheers. I want to try and finish off my tea. Hello, Sojourney. Thanks on the reminder, Miss Sylvia. What's up? Da, da, da. Hey, Kelly. <laughs> Hello, Hope. Mm -hmm. It's Kelly. Welcome, welcome. She's done a very, uh, she's on Twitch at the moment, but she's also in uh, YouTube. Um, a very uh, cute denim project. She's trying to uh, pretty much bust her stash, like a lot of people are trying to, almost every year, that's for us anyways. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. And she's, and the way she had it laid out, even though it was only eight blocks, I was like, I'd totally run with it that way. I love it, so pretty. Question, is this faster than just sewing your squares together? I'm not sure whether it's faster, but I'm stabilizing and sewing at the same time. So. You know what I mean? And I'm making sure that my points are going to be more precise by using the stabilizer to help guide it. So I'm just doing two things at once. <laughs> and this is because you don't have... And this is because I don't have iron-on. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I have, I have sew-on, but not iron-on. My mistake on the clicking of the buying the whole roll. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but I want to use it. I don't want to not use it here in the quilt shop, so... I shared a picture on Facebook. It was really stunning. Oh, she shared. Oh, yes, 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 that's right. Okay, I wasn't sure if that's where she had that's, I'd seen it. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, da. Okay, zigzag. Zigzag, I'll make you jump, jump. No, I go, I went big and big. We're just going to take a little bit from column A and a little bit from column B, okay? So aim the center of your foot right in between the lines where the fabrics are meeting up together. And then once you get the other one spinned on, you just line it up. I just, 
and then I would just move the pins from this row over to the next row, okay? So it makes it a whole lot easier for putting the squares on. Okay, so lay back out down here to overhead, okay? And then we'll lay out our next row and take these pins. Oh, okay, that just barely got it on that one. Okay, let's redo that. That one just missed it. Whoops. That's good, that's good, that's good. There. Let's put this over here. And then just line up a couple more rows. I mean, you could chain piece two by two by two through the machine, then four by four by four, or six, and then eight, and then, you know, you'd be, and then those are, I mean, you could do it any way you like. I'm just showing a different version of using what I have to stabilize as well as um, I use my fabric, right? Stabilize the fabric. Sorry for the heater noise. I know you guys would prefer I stayed warm. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you prefer I stayed warm? <laughs> we are looking into a new system, but it's so costly right now. We just don't have it. There's just, there's not a chance. Not a chance for a little bit. So, but it'll be, it'll be on, it's on the list to get a different system for the shop here. just not gonna happen overnight I feel like I'm oh those those ones I wanted to stay in there because I need that I need to fix my boo-boo okay. this one uh, oh, thank you my quilt projects uh, I'm trying to figure out uh, who won this project it was from the members of uh, from 2017. That's when I, I'm pretty sure I, I'd done that. So, okay, let's go fix my little boo-boo that I had there. Okay, which needs just me to come a little bit closer on these two fabrics. your fabric away from your machine or if you start pulling it this way you're going to get it hooked up on foots or your needles are going to get hooked up on the back of your uh, feet so just pull it away and then come back and then swing it back in where you're not going to get encumbered by the fabric and the needles Try and take a little bit from column A and a little bit from column B to keep it stable so that when we fold it in half, the stitch from the back side to a quarter inch seam line stays nice, nice together. Okay, so, again, I'm just going to move this, go back to the table, lay out our next row. So what's everybody else got going on today? What you doing? What's keeping you out of trouble? Sorta. Of. Some of you. Some of you I know are just not that you're just not capable of staying out of trouble. Right, Pop? Pop relates to you people. <laughs> Don't you pop? <laughs> uh, thank you, Diane. I'm I'm so glad it's a hit today. If I wasn't sure. Mm, does the current heater warm up the whole shop? I'm having visions of Pop sitting over there freezing. Are you sitting over there freezing? No, it's it's chilly, but it's not freezing. Outside it's freezing. Outside is freezing, yes. And it actually goes, it's at the top and it blows this way, so, you know. I would think he was he would be getting at least something, so... And he is over there in a t-shirt and a toque, but the toque is keeping him warm, so. Uh, what do I want? What do I want? Tell me what I want, what I really, really want. 
stretch and then pin in. We're gonna get pin in. And this gives you a good chance to uh, really see your layout as you're working along. You can switch fabrics out, say, you, or when you start putting rows together and then you realize, oh, well, I had those two, like they were like the same or something. And you're like, oh, I didn't want that. You won't have that happen doing it this way. You see it all in front of you, very visual, very much exactly what you're looking for. Oh, I'm glad I flipped that over. Because I did find that a couple times when I was working on the wreath one. I was like, oh, I don't like those two together. Oh, why are those two random together? And I'm like, eh. Like toque? toque? No, it's toque. It's a toque. <laughs> I'm working on a quilted zipper pouch for an iPad. Oh, nice, Tessa. What colors are you using? It is UFO weekend for me, weekend, uh, sorry, quilt weekend, cross stitch next weekend, uh, and to make a schedule for all the UFO, yes, 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 definitely, definitely, get it in the schedule. If you write things down, you have a better tendency to do them. It's the same as like picking up, the, you make a grocery list, right? So sometimes a, a to-do list or a honey-do list or whatever, make a list, a list of things you want to accomplish, things you want to use up, and the things you, so you don't forget about them because a year is a long time and a lot happens in a year. A lot of things can happen in a year. So, all right, so there we go, moving it away. Go back here and then we're gonna lay out our next row. Okie pokey people, sorry, oops, sorry. 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 <laughs> yeah, some very pretty fabric. Some nice little tans and browns and creams and reds and a little bit of mix of this and a little bit of mix of that. There we go. And you could plan a few of these at a time, like you could plan the front and the back and then just, you know, truck it like you know jute jute and then jute and work on the next one then back and forth and back and forth and back and forth I did one ahead of time just so I could show you guys what my vision was um and hopefully you know everything would you guys would come along for the adventure with me designing on the fly I have I have a purpose I know I, I want she not that she has the need but I would like to give her the thing to keep their blocks nice and you know, cute, or even if she uses it for something else, maybe for the next project or something, the, the ones that she has right now, so. You keep lots of things in there, right? And especially if you make it a half-decent size. Great way to keep keep a whole quilt project together. You cut everything, it's like a, you know, just a more uh, in-depth design bag, right? Oh, I guess I didn't need those guys. I pulled from the pin cushion. <laughs> Such a habiter. Mm -mm -mm. Well, hello there, Sister Lisa. Hello, beautiful lady. Oh, Pop, I love your beer trim. <laughs> what are you working on? I'm doing binding for a Very nice. Uh, I'm making a uh, quilt block holder bag. Think I'm a bobbin. So, yeah. Here, I'll show you what I have done so far. So, people can catch up too. So, what I've been building out, I've been using my medium stabilizer. And I drew some lines on the back because there's uh, there's an adhesive one out there that you can use to make bags and quilts and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, so I've, I have some medium stabilizer here, but it's not iron on, it's so on. So I drew the lines on that I needed, like a grid, put my squares on, did a zigzag in between each row, and then folded on the line and then sewed to give it the seam allowance that's necessary. And then you end up with some really nice, precise, pretty little bits, okay? Just like that, they're nice, nice. all the seams match up. So this is a little bit of chunk left over. So this is gonna be like a peekaboo pocket on the outside of the bag. So it's got a bit of the fabric and then you can just, you can like tuck it in, thinking about maybe making it 
that way too. I'm not sure. Maybe one would just be best to hold bigger things. And then I'm right now I'm making the other one. So, yes. Thank you, everybody, for welcoming my sister Lisa into the chat. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you showing her some love. And now what I'm doing is I'm pinning. I'm sewing with a zigzag in between both column A and column B sort of thing as I go along. And that's just keeping it stabilized enough for me that when I go to fold it, it's all tucked in and I don't have to worry about any crazy edges. Thank you. Everybody's loving the colors for this quilt project. I, I, I love it. Love toboggan is what we sit on. Yeah, toboggan is what you sit down on the hill. <laughs> Pop actually was watching a, a YouTuber not too long ago, and they were taught calling the toboggan a toque. Is that what you typed in? No. Oh, it really? I yeah. thought that might have set it off. So. Sorry, I need some water. A better year of 2024. And she's our sister too. <laughs> Pat Ada says I have to share you now. <laughs> and, and Tracy Albert really enjoyed you too. And Miss Helly's in the chat. The our our moderator and friend of our family lives in Denmark. Who I said fits right in with us would totally match us as as a, as a sister. So that's just down these rows. If it's stabilized enough, you probably you don't really even need to do these ones, right? You just need to, I would do the long ones. Um, and they go for it. So now I'm gonna take these pins, move them over here, when I put those ones there. So, yes. Yes, thank you everybody. Cheers, 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 cheers. Anybody else got any birthdays uh, coming up? We'll watch the video when they get back. Love you all, love you too, Miss Joan. Big hugs. Squishy hugs. Everybody into the cuddle puddle. Okay, I want to take some of those. And I like, I like doing it this way because, like I say, you can really look at, see where you want your blocks to go. You're not going to have any ones that you don't like next to each other after you finish sewing a whole row and then you got to rip one block out or use the seam ripper or something like that. So, does anybody have any questions? I'm honored calling you my sister. I'm honored you call me your sister too. So, thank you. Thank you, Miss Helly. You've shown me nothing but love since the first day you popped into our chats. Or left, actually was left leaving comments. She was actually the one that encouraged all the live streams. So, uh, so uh, thank Miss Helly. Thank Miss Helly for us going doing our live streams. We just did videos before. So, and she was like, would you ever consider? And I was like, we hadn't. It was not even a thought that crossed our mind way back when. And then we uh, we said okay let's let's give it a shot and see if this is okay and we did the north and south quilt for my friend Lawrence and Tanya and I just not too long ago mailed off a quilt to their youngest son who just got married so Dakota and Ruth Ann I love her name Ruth Ann that's so beautiful I love the name Ruth Ann It's got some, it's got some love and history to it for some reason to me. It feels like uh, one catty wampus there. Uh, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Make it work. Make it work. Work a little longer. Make it work. Work a little harder. Uh, your live streams were the first ones I ever watched. Really? The, I didn't really know of anybody who did a lot of live streams then, to tell you the truth. So I think, I don't know, I'm not going to say we were like the first because that's just, you know, not true. But um, I didn't I, I didn't see a lot myself. There wasn't a lot of quilting streams. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of quilting streams, so. Not like now. No, not like now. No, they're everywhere. They're a dime a dozen. <laughs> On all platforms, right? So, 
And I found a few that I like. Oh, actually, Pop and I were watching. Hold on, what was your name? Uh, mildly aggressive folk last night, and she she was very entertaining. Uh, she did talk to herself a lot, a lot, uh, which is you know it's fine. That's what crazy people do, and you know, streamers do it. Um, Therefore, therefore, streamers are crazy. <laughs> get the link, people. You get that? <laughs> um, yeah, she 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 made a uh, tote bag, a, a nice big one, huge huge weird pockets on the side though. I didn't quite get the pockets, but that's all right. That's all right. It's all right. My birthday is next month. You have plenty of time to make your chocolate cake. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> uh, my 60th on the 29th. Very nice. There is only two brothers and now me. Oh, for Patty to gotcha. That's when I started watching Love Every Minute Up. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Tina. Thank you guys for, for even just hitting that button and subscribing. I mean, that means a lot. It means a lot to us. We appreciate it, and we appreciate your company. I look forward to hanging out with you guys because you're like my family. You know, and we got, you know, my sister Lisa pops in the chat all the time. So it, it just kind of makes it feel a little bit more like family because family's coming in, you know what I mean? So, and you guys end up after, you know, years of talking, getting to know each other and like video chatting. And then, you know, we be getting to know some people on the, the member Zooms and stuff like that. You, you feel like family. It's about love and respect. We love and respect you. You'll be 60 next year. Yeah, you're 59 this tomorrow. Tomorrow. I love you tomorrow. Cause you're Hallie's birthday. You felt that way. <laughs> That's the only reason you left tomorrow? Well, no, I, well, you're going away tomorrow, so I don't really love tomorrow. <laughs> Makes me sad you go away tomorrow. I gotta take you to airports. <laughs> I have to make sure I'm driving the right roads and going the right places. <laughs> I get you in trouble. Haven't done Zoom? Oh, well, hopefully you'll come visit us on Wednesday. It's going to be from 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern to about 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we will send out the information via the member section on the YouTube as well as the Guild website. I just noticed there was a couple of ones I'd missed there, so I was coming back. Right here, too. Maybe I should have done a little bit bigger one or just have better aim at the center. Probably better, yes. We are family. We got this grooving on. And we're here to celebrate the good times and to help console each other on the bad ones, you know? And life can be really sucky sometimes. And sometimes all you need to do, or all you need to know is that you have somebody who's who's willing to listen and who, who may not understand, but is willing to listen. I didn't realize it was. Oh, it is? I think it's a Nancy, uh, guess who Nancy as well. So we'll say happy birthday to both of them. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, guess who Nancy and Nelly. Happy birthday to you and many more. I searched Canadian quilters and found you. Like, me, 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 or me as in somebody else? Yeah. 
Me, 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 <laughs> the very few things I remember about music class, that one always cracks me up. <coughs> and she'd be like to the day, Lorlin, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That's not what you do with a recorder. No, <coughs> oh, I use it as a drumstick. Oh, I'm pretending. <laughs> My, I had my groove on. I have no idea how I came across your channel, Laura <laughs> too long ago. It's been too long, lady. <laughs> I came across um, so Becca's channel when she popped into ours. And I was like, oh, that's clearly a person who sews. So I think we, like, after the first uh, thing, we wrote, like, wrote down and went, popped over and subscribed right away. Like, we've been subscribed for years. So, and the same with, uh, I found uh, Tiffany's quilting through her. And same with Ian. And same with Sean, the guy who sews. And, um, who else did I see? I, fa I found, uh, actually, Memoirs of Lawmore Quilter when she popped into here. So, uh, I like it when other content creators pop in here and say something, because then you get to know them, right? And then they become friends. Well, one would hope. And, then, you know, YouTube is big enough for everybody, that's for sure want everybody to succeed and be successful in what they want to achieve here, right? All right, now we've come to having this part stabilized to the top. Figure out where I may have missed along the line, which looks like there's at least two spots here. So let's check that out because I put a pin where it needed. Right here. Okay, pop that out. Is everybody here? Good, good, good. Oh, maybe a little bit over here. Let's just check that out. about the whole you had it die for someone else you became a queen was this 94 or something almost 94 you're okay willing to wanting to work <laughs> yeah 24 hours a day <laughs> exactly right <laughs> not i okay now here comes the fun part do 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 because you don't have to line up anything. You don't have to use any other pins besides those ones to stabilize the stitch. But I mean, if you had the iron-on stuff, you could do the same thing. Just mark it. Just mark it on the back side, right? Okay. So now we're going to take this and we're going to sew on the short side. So we're going to take this and fold it. Put it on itself. The lines do not match up for the back. Silly me. They should be out there. Looks like they'll be okay. And then we're just gonna sew on down with a quarter inch seam allowance. And hopefully we catch the threads on both or fabric on both sides. Okay. Cannot imagine you LL as a mischievous girl. <laughs> uh, uh, as, as, well, maybe not mischievous. No. Oh, 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 oh. Not zigzag. Hold on. Back, 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 clear, clear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we may have like an extra long stream next Saturday because Pop's not here and we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure maybe Munchkin will have plans with his friends. So come hang out with me. All right, now let's see what the first line looks like. Okay, we did that. Let's see. Can you hit the other button? Okay, can you see that?
Let's one side fold it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this again, fold that. Okay. I don't know why I marked the back, because it clearly gave me no guidance to the front. <laughs> we wanna keep it all together and make sure that our little bits are getting in there. And they are, okay? And then it's down here, quarter inch seam allowance. We'll keep you company. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, I got to drive that big old truck to the airport tomorrow. We haven't gotten our car back. I've called. And they, they told me... Oh, Sophie's dreaming. They told me that it's the uh, adjuster they've called twice to get him to confirm, to come and confirm that the parts they ordered are correct and they can finish the work. <laughs> we only have the rental till uh, Wednesday, no Thursday. So, <laughs> other than that, or it's, we or, or we have to pay instead of it being through the insurance company. So I'm, I'm a little, mm. Hello, Lee. How's it going? Is Margaret even doing? Hold on. Uh, somehow I found your channel and Margaret Lewins too. Watched both when you were uh, both on Sundays. Had to watch back and forth, uh, back and forth a bunch. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I remember her. I haven't heard much about her actually. That's a good question. That's a good question. Yes, I was a fan of hers too. But I don't think anything's popped up on my feed from her for a while. She was a dark-haired lady, right? That had some of her children, her daughter, come with her sometimes, or sometimes sewing with her, or working in the her little studio or shop. Uh, she's the best. <laughs> Is that what you're calling there, Pauline Fru? That my oops, my sister Elizabeth says I was the best. <laughs> Is the best sister. <laughs> Yeah, who's, who's calling the malarkey? What's the malarkey about? Okay, this I need to go back to zigzag, or at least a straight stitch or something here, because this, this is, these two, these two did miss, miss their, their mark. Tia Quilts, yes, yeah, she is. I really enjoy Tia Quilts when I get a chance to catch her. She is awesome. So, like I say, so is Memoirs. Uh, I recently found Shannon via Stephanie st Stitches and, um, um, uh, oh, geez, I'm sorry, Quilt, Quilt Meets World, Russ. Um, who's, there's a few other people I've met through her or found through her as well, too, and subscribed to their channel. So, folding it down with the seams touching in between. Oh. Not the sister's Oh. Oh, 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 okay, about the insurance adjuster. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I was like, no, seriously, there was a family of mousins in there. <laughs> really, there was. <laughs> I, I would not lie to you. Yeah, yeah, I got that now. I was confused. Yeah, yeah, okay, sorry about that. Oh, you keep me company? Aw, thank you so much there, Cheryl. Appreciate that. Keep me company, keep me out of trouble. Yes, Amy's fantastic. I subscribed to her, actually, uh, I think she had less than a thousand on, on her. Now she's seriously boomed right up. That's so awesome for her, because she's, she's really quite entertaining, and uh, she's got some uh, cool takes on things. So, yes. Stars, I found her channel recently. She's fun. Oh, okay, sir. 
Margaret is doing sales on Facebook just a bit ago on Facebook. Someone has passed. She's extremely busy. Let's see her. Oh, okay. Oh. Hey, Granite Quilter. I'm with you next week. Uh, with a watch and Wally Quilt. Okay, cool. Well, maybe start like a little earlier, maybe, maybe an hour earlier, if that doesn't bugger up anybody else's schedule or something. I don't want to step on anybody's toes, so. Uh, this did not snug in as much as I was anticipating it would, so we are going to use the seam ripper right here, okay? Just rip a few out. Sorry? Are you talking to me or are you talking to the computer? <laughs> Can't guarantee I'll keep you in trouble. <laughs> Pop's been trying to for years. All I can say is good luck, Cheryl. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> You can ask any of the, the ladies that have come to visit here if they can keep me out of trouble. <laughs> All right, okay, back in there. Seam ripper, seam ripper, you're my best friend. Seam ripper, seam ripper, right to the very end. I like Emily from Terribly Rad. She made a three yard quilt last year. And got married to. Oh wow! Okay. Look at that. Look overhead. Look at those. Aren't they so pretty? They're coming together so nice. Look how nice those corners are. That's just doing the one side. Okay. So we're working away. Just this one, this one, and this one, and then we'll start doing this way, this way, this way, this way. Okay. Exactly. If you're having problems folding it, then bring your ruler involved. You know, it's a multi-purpose tool, you know. Get it on the fold, scoot it out of the way, squish her down, double check her, sew it. Okay. I might just encourage the chaos a little. <laughs> I can see that happening. I totally could. Sorry, that last one was shifting a little bit. Don't you get shifty on me. I think I still have a few more quilt creators to catch up on behind because of the holidays. Getting a kick out of Natasha makes. Okay. I don't think I've heard of her. See, that's why I like talking to you guys. Introduce me to new people. And other people are new people too. So they're like, oh, hey, if this person likes them, maybe I might like them. But not everybody's going to like everybody, okay? So, you know, it's, it's okay. But you should never yuck somebody else's yell. So. You are chaos and I love it. <laughs> Tracy Wicked Tracy. It's the Tracys, I tell ya. <laughs> <laughs> right, BC Tracy. Right, Tracy Provis. Right, Tracy Wick. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. Tracy H. And pardon? Oh. oh, wow. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hello from North Carolina. Finally got a chance to see you live. Yay! Well, I'm glad you're here. About time you showed up. We've been waiting a long time. <laughs> I'm kidding. 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 <laughs> kidding. <laughs> like, Jolene's here. Get the hors d'oeuvres out. <laughs> Get this party started. It's getting started. Yeah. It's getting started in here. <laughs> I admit nothing. <laughs> it's the Jesus coming against us. Mm, well, I have to live up to my namesake. Exactly, right? Mm, practically, if someone is copying you, laugh aloud, I missed a couple minutes. I missed that too. What's going on? 
Okay, last row, yo, up here. This side, okay. Just gonna shift and doodle. Hold on, I don't like that one. There's a big gap here. See, look, 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 overhead. See, there's a gap there. So we're just gonna make sure that scoots down. Other than that, we'll have to add a wider seam allowance. And we don't want to do that, because then it makes it look like it's a little weird. We don't want that. Do we? Do we, do we, do we? No, we don't. Move those back and put a little pin in. I just copied your comment. <laughs> no, there's no giveaway today. Sorry. Okay. Scoot the doors a little bit. Okay. First, I'm just going to put a little base stitch on those guys to stabilize them. Robin and Kate. Robin. Robin is in RS Island, Robin. Love Robin. She's so sweet. Is that the one we're talking about? <laughs> At least Jolene's still here. She, I'm scared her away. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes it can be a little much. All right. Take care there, Kelly. Have a good one. If you can count your stitches when your quilting is done. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, so now we do it. Oh, we missed. No, we didn't miss. Did we miss? We missed. We missed. Uh oh, another one. Oh, because the fold missed. Hergler. This was easier doing it the other way. <laughs> it's just because I'm on camera, that's all. It's because that works. But we have a problem, and therefore we will fix it. Us. We want to do the best we can, and these are the tools given to us, and therefore we shall use them. Somebody says to you, oh, you'll never use all your tools. Yes, I will! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you tell me I won't. Book in a nose. Yeah, it's been crazy windy and uh, snowy here. I couldn't get the shop to stay all, at warm at all yesterday. The wind was so bad. I just kept, after like 20 times of getting up and flicking off and on the switch for the pilot light to come back off and on, being blown out outside. I was like, okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm losing my patience. I think I fixed my bubbles. Well, this part of them. Or some of them. <coughs> what did I miss, Lenore? 
Okay, I finally got my typing to work, and now I can say halfway through our podcast, uh, hi, L, L, all you guys, uh, to all my Tracy's <laughs> are uh, ah, Lenore from uh, Wisconsin. After a green Christmas, we are getting a light of uh, snow falling today. It disappeared off the screen. Well, thank you for joining us. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. We've had, uh, oh, it's snowing again. Okay, want to go to camera five. There we go, fun more exciting than me seeing ripping. It's camera five. Camera five? Camera five. What's camera five? Camera five's outside, camera five. Camera five, it's snowing again. It's snowing again. Whoa, whoa, it's so, do you have a sewing area in the house too for days like that? No, no, I don't actually. I don't even have a sewing machine in the house. Nope. There's really no place for it. And I made a promise when the shop was here that I would not bring sewing unless it was hand sewing stuff in the house. So, and I'm not breaking that rule. Uh, you got to think of how the boys lived for six years with my crap everywhere. So I, I, no, no. Those are just days I take and take hand stitching or go and run errands or do other things. So like I said, we are going to have another solution for the shop, but it just won't be this winter or probably even next winter. So it's just going to, it's going to take time and money and I just don't have that right now. So, and since we don't do the 12 hour streams anymore, um, but that's due to health reasons. So it just makes the progress a little bit slower, but that's okay. It'll happen. All right, now let's see if I can line this up just a smidge better than I did the last time, because last time that sucked. Okay, now here, there, and there. And then, where's the other guy? Right there. I think because the one was off, it threw the other one off. Okay. That's okay. We have a problem, and we fix it. I didn't have any of these problems on the first one. <laughs> but that just goes to show you. Things happen. Um. She reminds me of my granny and how my granny quilted. She didn't free motion her, but her 10 kids hand tied her quilts for her. Hey, nice. I like that. That's how I first, first few quilts I made for a pop and munchkin were all hand tied. I used embroidery floss or yarn. I used what I had left over from projects. away things for free I mean like for free take for buy waste time right so is that what the saying is <laughs> okay did I do a better job yes I did do a better job okay it's all right things happen we learn, we adjust, we move on, we no crying. No crying and sewing. Okay? Because you can't see anything, and then you're going to stitch in a finger, and then you'll be really, really crying. Sewing will give you something to cry about. <laughs> I just want to see they're staying lined up. So I'm just going to pop a pin in just to keep keep me going on where I need to be and not backtracking. <coughs> I am so full of threads. I'm sitting at the lunch table or the dining table and I'm having lunch and I'm, I'm like looking at myself. Is it thread or is it food? I'm like, what is on me? I'm like, is it food or is it thread? <laughs> Marcus is laughing. 
A bit of both, maybe. And I'm always, if I'm standing in the line at the grocery store, I will, I, you end up waiting, so I end up just like picking the threads off and just like leaving them behind. <laughs> Feel like, you know, just leave a little bit of myself here and there. Spread the love. Uh, we were, where was Munchkin and I? Or was it Pop and I? We were in some random place and I saw threads all over a lady's, uh, like um, uh, the front of her shirt and or sweater and pants. And I, I said to her, I said, oh, fellow quilter or fellow sewer. <laughs> she smiles. <laughs> hey, Susan, how you doing? Welcome to the chat and happy new year to you. Happy new year to everybody who I didn't get a chance to say happy new year to on Tuesday. There we go. Oh, that is looking good. Okay, let's do uh, the rest of the seams here. Okay, so we're folding on where we stitched and we're gonna try and get that zigzag stitch that we're seeing right there. We're gonna make sure it's right in the middle. Okay, so we come on down and sew with a quarter inch net and on our stabilizing material. a finger is definitely not fun. I'm sorry, what? I got there just in time. I got it switched cameras just as you finished something. <laughs> I can't help it, but... I was typing. <laughs> No, it's always cold. I'm not a fan of this. I'm having a hard time getting used to it, though. Uh, new segment: Is it thread or food? <laughs> Brought to you by Mama Pop Quilt Shop. I know, right? Craft is it <laughs> No, because I sit there I'm like, you know, I just had a few potatoes because I didn't want to upset my tummy with anything over the next like couple of days, like today and tomorrow, because I gotta travel and obviously streaming today, so I kind of limit things right on those days. And I'm like. Is it like potato or is it thread? <laughs> like food or thread? <laughs> it's food or fabric? <laughs> Stay tuned <laughs> to find out what was it. <laughs> if not, it's just more fiber in my diet, right? <laughs> I want some snow for at least a couple of days, build the snowman, throw some snowballs, and then I want it gone. Yeah, that's like everybody. They want it for their white Christmas, and then adios. By New Year's, please go. And now now we're just getting into our snowy season. Jan January and February are definitely uh, our snowy seasons here. And even into March. Bad YouTube strikes people for music copyright infringement. I love when you belt out the 70s and 80s too. That's why. Thank you, Monty. <laughs> oh, there's one section that we got missed there. Oopsies. If I can just fix that with the top stitch that goes past. I probably can. Okay, so we're not going to worry about that right yet. Okay. Where's the next line? Right here. Fold it. Mash it. Mark it with LL. Put it in the oven for me. <laughs> Just swearing? Oh, what the, the snow word? Is that what it is? Are we swearing? <laughs> Some people say that, that the snow is a swear word. So. We have, it's really blown all over the place. So we have about a half a foot out front of the shop and a little bit into the way to the house. But then there's like barely anything on the driveway for, except for a couple little spots where, you know, it, the, the tires on the truck will have no issues tomorrow. So I'm not worried about it. And hopefully we don't get too much snow while pops away. Other than that, Munchkin has to snow blow because I don't, I don't have the strength or the know-how or really more the strength to, to use the machine. So. It's a ride on snowblower, so. 
Well, at least it's not a push one. But if it was a push one, then I could handle it. Be right back, pup time. Be right back, pup time. Come on, stop. Bring you to tears. <laughs> yeah, hi, Quilting Compound. Happy to see you here. Another channel I'm a fan of, the Quilting Compound. Thank you for gifting us with your presence. Alerts popping up uh, for f oh f for all flood. Ad oh, adverts. Sorry, my bad. All food related. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, YouTube has changed their stuff. We can't do anything about the ads. They want their their pennies. To, and apparently, Amazon Prime. Uh, for Amazon, uh, for watching the programs, you're going to have to pay $3 a month just to not get ads. Yeah, Prime Video. Prime Video, sorry, Prime Video. So, that's like crazy. They just, it's going to nickel and dime you to death now that nobody, not a lot of people, I'm going to say not nobody, but not a lot of people watch normal, regular cable television anymore when they can find everything they want on these streaming apps that are, you know, five and ten bucks, so. What is that one theme along? But, okay. Oh, All lined up. All nice and pretty. That was so cool. Uh, what popped in? Put a plow on the movie. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> nope. <laughs> I wouldn't mind the ads on streaming services so much, but some of them are way worse than old. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, it's whatever they can get, right, I guess. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, so let's do a little review here, okay? Because we got we got plans for gaming tonight, so I don't want to run too, too late. It's a bit, we're at two hours, so this is the plan for the project. This is going to be a bag that's going to hold blocks, okay? So um, right now it stands at... So I'm going to be trimming it up. It's not going to be because it's a little, little wampus, but not too, too bad. Right now it is 17 by 18 and a half. And I think that's a good project bag, sort of like quilty bag to, to hold blocks in is a good size. So this is going to be one side. This is going to be the other. Okay. So they'll sit like this. Okay. And then I've made a peekaboo bag or a pouch for one side of it. And that'll be just lined up like that. Obviously, that's a little bit hairier than it needs to be. So, like there. Okay. But it's got some nice fabric on the inside of that pocket. And we've got a nice little tie up of the top here. So, either I can put one here or maybe even just like here in a bigger one or just leave it wide open. I'm not sure. But you can definitely see little bits in there. And then. I think I have an extra piece of plastic as well, and I may do a bigger one up here for that side as well. And then we've got the inside to do, and we have a zipper here with multiple heads. So come learn with me next weekend how to load one of these so you can have the zippers that go back and forth. You know, you get the two heads that go back and then to, to open it and then back around to the front to close it. Okay, because it's going to sit kind of flattish, right? Because you're going to put the books, uh, the blocks in here and it's going to, you're going to flip it open or flip it over, whichever way it's going like to go. So. Yeah, like a portfolio. So it'll have things on either side on the inside of plastic as well with like binding that we're going to finish off on the top like this one here for pockets to put the quilt blocks in. Okay. Yeah. So here's hoping. 
uh, like we pay five euros a month uh, to get Prime here in Italy. It also gives, yeah, well, that's why we like it so much is for the free shipping. So, yeah, so this is, uh, what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times eight, 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 eight sixty-four, so 73, 72, whatever. Um, blocks on one side and then the other and then you need a little couple extra for here so it's a it's a great jelly roll buster i'm using just the scraps of fabric that i had here uh i do have extra bits to make other pockets for the other side and then i still need to pick my inside fabric any suggestions what size is the zipper good question cheryl zipper by the yard Four yards of 16 millimeter zipper tape and 16 extra large zipper pulls. So I, I just recently learned how to use them by making a bunch of project bags a few months ago. I think it was actually our last 12 hour stream. Yeah, it was our last 12 hour stream. Made project bags for lots of people. And they got to pick their material and the zipper and everything made it right there in front of them. I loved it. My favorite thing is making things for you people. But this is for somebody else. You can't have this one. No. <laughs> we should get. We should give it all to you. All right. So Tuesdays, cross stitch Tuesday or stitch Tuesday. Come hang out, UFOs, whatever. And then Wednesday, if you were a member, if a paid member of our guild website or YouTube channel or um, a subscriber on Twitch or uh, Kick, then you'll get an invite to the member Zoom. Come hang out all day. We're going to go from 9 a.m. Eastern to 7 p.m. Eastern, okay? 72. So, oh, that's 72. I said 73, didn't I? Oops, whatever. White on white. White on white. Ooh. I do have some. And if I pieced it, it might be even cuter. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. I'll have the material all ready to go and hopefully a better idea of what I want to do. So how I want to get to go. Zip by the yard is usually size five, uh, larger than regular clothing dress zippers, which is size three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that one? Does that have that too? Size five? Mm. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Doesn't see anything else on here, but. 16. Anybody have any questions before we run away? And you guys go crash on uh, Mr. Ian. Thanks, Laura Lynn and Kent, uh, <laughs> with the beanie head on. <laughs> I know, it looks so cute, doesn't he? Just like, I'm going to miss him. You guys better keep me company. I'm going to get lonely. You don't want to see his face when he's lonely. Oh, and for the side, uh, like the gussets, will also be made out of this material. Okay, so I'll probably do maybe a two block two block strip for the gusset for this to go around, okay? And it'll be like one strip for one side, one strip for the other, and then the zipper will be pulled onto those two. Does that make any sense? Okay. Yeah, you have a beautiful weekend too. Have a great one. Yes, have a great day, and we'll see lots of you, hopefully, on Tuesdays. Okay, on Tuesday. Thank you, Pat Strawhouse. Thank you, thank you. Looking forward to seeing some of you peoples on the Wednesdays. I think it's going to be really cute, Suzanne. I, I really cute. And, and obviously, I'll write down the uh, pattern if it works out, and uh, I like it, and we'll, and we'll go from there. So it could be could be one we can be just giving away here. So mm, you have multiple ways to reach me, so you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, I do too. We may we can play a game. Happy Saturday, everyone. Dinner is ready. Love you. I'll take care uh, and see you around. You betcha. See you around YouTube, Lynn. See you soon. Okay, bye for now. See you next time. Drive safe. Uh, I will. I'm, it, it shouldn't be too bad weather-wise in the morning. I should be gone only about three hours. Three hour, ten minutes at the max. That's if I have to stop or something. So, But we do have to stop and get gas. So that'll be accounted for in the morning, though. So, yes. See you Tuesday and Wednesday. Thank you, Balloonist. I'm looking forward to seeing you on Wednesday as well. Thank you, Betty. We're going to find something to eat now. Okay, uh, we are going to go and read uh, Mr. Off Kilter Crafter Ian. On the YouTube side. On the YouTube side. Uh, do we have anybody to read on the Twitch side? Yeah, there's somebody called Mama is a fan. Oh. Who is doing, looks like she's doing some sewing or quilting. So oh, fantastic. Well, let's go read her. Side. Yeah, we're reading on both sides, people. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Take care, everybody. Don't forget to send your love to the other channel. From us to them to you. Have a fantastic weekend. And we love you very much. And thank you for hanging out with me on my adventure of I'm making a bag.
See you soon.